Out of these 10 men, how many do you think have cheated on a partner? Definitely you. Why am I not? <laughs> <laughs> you. I look at you. Guilty, I swear. I grew up with a lot of girls, but I have more guy friends. I actually was a tomboy, like played sports, I did football, I did volleyball, I did tracks, I even tried wrestling. I want to say I was a bro. My name is Talaya. I have a few straight men in my life. Um, my most big important one is my dad. My name is Michael, I'm an actor, I'm gay. I've been friends with a lot of straight guys growing up. Actually, no, I haven't been friends with straight guys growing up. I was bullied by straight guys growing up. So I think that's why I know straight guys so well. So, let's start off strong. Okay. <laughs> Let's do it. Let's get into it. Here's our first step. Uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> a recent survey found that 78% of women aged 18 to 34 have received an unsolicited explicit photo from a man, while only 17% of men admit to sending one. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's admit. Genuine question. I don't know why guys sent pictures. I'll look at it and be like, ew and block. Out of this sample size, uh -huh. how many of these men do you think have sent an unsolicited dick pic? Definitely you. <laughs> Why me? Because your eyes. I feel like oh guys, no, I'm being dead as guys with colorful eyes tend to be like, oh, you know what? This ankle might look good. I've came across your type and it's not a bad thing. You know what I mean? Like you get around. Okay, I don't say I get around. I mean, but... well, I don't want to say, I'm sorry. I'm I don't want to say get around. I don't think you have. You look nice. <laughs> You're a little angel. I just look at you just like a little angel. What's your name? Mark. Huh. Okay. <laughs> You look innocent, but you're not. You. Damn. I'm sorry. Yeah, she shot me I'm with sorry. that one. Like the little cuss in the eyebrows. Like, mm. you know, you could've been like, oh, good morning, babe. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm gonna say you have sent it. Yeah, it's the chain and the stash. It might be the stash. The stash is new. Is it? <laughs> what are you talking? I like the mustache. I, it's new, but I don't know. I think mustaches are in. I don't think you, you look too chill. You're like, you know, if you want to send me something, sure, but like, I'm not, <laughs> I don't give a fuck. You look quiet, but behind the, the curtain, you're like very like dominant and like, here's my dick. I don't know why, <laughs> I don't know why I'm thinking that. Oh fuck, are you into anime? No. Okay, then never mind. I don't know, but for me, some of the guys who watch animes tend to be like, want to role play a little bit. Yo. So they're kind of like, okay, I'm like, Action figure, here you go. You know what I mean? I, I don't know, that's just how I see it. I chose you. I chose you. I'm sorry, my guy. I chose you. I'm sorry. I, you know what? I'm about to pick you. You might be up there. I don't know. I'm choosing you. No, definitely, definitely, and maybe. I'm going to say both of you have sent them as well. If you have sent an unsolicited dick pic, please step forward and share your story in three, two, one. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm all right. Motherfucker. I knew it was. Bruh. You can you have it wrong. I mean, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, if we're talking, I'm on that type of time. I'm not gonna lie. You might say good morning, handsome. I already know. Bless your phone real quick. You know what I mean? When they say unsolicited, I thought, like, oh, yeah, just you send it to a random girl. But when you said a girlfriend, I'm like, oh, I mean, that good makes morning, sense. Babe. Because, like, she's seen it already. So it's mm. like, if if I'm sending it to her, I'm obviously use the blur or whatever. So she'd be like, oh, shit, look I at that. Racist. She's like, oh, I need that right now. Oh, okay, and it's so like she's like, good morning, babe, right back. back. Yeah, it's like a, it's like a present. Yeah. <laughs> okay, okay, I like that, I like that, okay. <laughs> Has anyone ever just never sent a dick, like, even, like, solicited? Whoa. Oh, so I was right never? about him being nice. You never sent a dick at all? No, never. Never. Nice. never. I get scared. Never, what if it gets leaked? Okay. Who are you? <laughs> <laughs> like, are you? Do you have a reputation to worry about? No. Okay. It's just... You just you don't know. want it out there. I yeah. get it. That's fair. <laughs> if you had to guess the percentage of men who have admitted to ghosting someone, what would you guess? I would literally probably say like 20%. 30%. 35%? Mm. An online study revealed that 44% of straight men admitted to ghosting someone. Oh, I was close. 25% of men admit to doing so after having slept with someone. 
Wait, 25%? That should be higher. I would say more girls get hit on by guys than guys get hit on by girls or other people. So I would say that girls are mostly ghosting guys and guys kind of take what they could get. Out of this sample size, how many of these men do you think have ghosted someone after sleeping with them? You're active, dick pics, dick pics. You're all straight, right? Okay. That's like literally like show. <laughs> <laughs> Why is it me? <laughs> you look like someone who I talk to. Like, you're just like, I'm not interested. Ghost. <laughs> you. For sure. You have the eyebrow slit. <laughs> Your style, just the way you carry yourself. Kind of like F-boy, you know, F-boy vibes. Appreciate that. You and you. That's four. I think you probably did. It's that damn chain. <laughs> <laughs> you already know, too. It's just kind of like the whole hooper and everything. So, yeah. Um... I think. If you fit this statistic, please step forward and share your story in three, two, one. Oh, still four, though. Prior to ghosting somebody, to, before sleeping with them, I have because, you know, girls look good when you approach, and then when you talk to them, it's a different yeah. dynamic. So, you For know, sure. meeting a girl is not there, it's over. Yeah. After I have, you know, they talk a good game, it's going to be this, going to be that, you get in the bed, and it's like, oh, no. Yeah. You got to so go. You got to do. You got to go, because <laughs> um, honestly, just sex is a big part of a relationship regardless. I'm like one of the worst texters in general, like even with my parents and stuff. Me too. So it's more just like I get caught up in my head. But it's really bad to ghost people, and I'm very sorry. I don't do it on purpose. So like sometimes Liar. I'm just a bad texter. <laughs> and I'm just like, ah, oh, like. I miss your text. I'm like, I'm doing something and things come up, but I'm an effective communicator. If we didn't say, oh, we're dating, oh, we're not doing this, then I don't really see it wrong. But I do ghost on accident, I guess. You can't ghost on accident. <laughs> yeah, it's on accident sometimes. It's like, oh, I just missed the text. How are you a good communicator if you're just forgetting? And <laughs> <laughs> well, like in person, like you caught me in person and like, I'm a good communicator, but like over text, I'm like, things come up and stuff like that. So I'm like, oh, I forget to text back. But in person, I'll tell you everything. I've had like a long journey with sex. I have some stuff stemming from my childhood that kind of just mm -hmm. caused me to feel a lot of shame. And I realized at a very young age, I was kind of taught to not talk about it. And I realize now, you know, after a lot of self-work and discovery that that caused me to, you know, treat women worse than they deserve. And it always felt like this thing of like, why am I not able to talk to them afterwards? Because I felt bad. I knew it was wrong even when I would be doing it, yeah. but it was just something that was like deep lying issues that right. I have since worked on. Now I'm very anti-ghost. Like, you know, now it's like I'm all honesty and just make I sure like I, that. I tell people. Thank you, you for know, sharing that. Yeah, thoughts. it takes a real man to share something like that mm -hmm. in front of a lot of people. You guys in the background, anyone at all? Has anyone here ever been ghosted by someone else? After six? Just ghosted at all. Oh yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah, I think all of us Oh, probably. we've all been ghosted, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Damn, <laughs> damn. If you had to guess just generally, how many men do you think, like, regularly go to therapy, what would you say? Maybe like 13%. I want to keep it at 25. 10% of men, 10 to 15% of men. In the United States, only 18% of men have used mental health services within the past year. I worked in mental health for a little bit as a part-time gig, and <laughs> there was... What was Who funny laughed? about that? Part-time. <laughs> part See what straight gig? men think of mental health? <laughs> <laughs> Non-existent. You started dying. So, I, I, worked job. In, I worked in residential mental health treatment. Most of the time, it was a house full of women. There was like one token straight guy every like few months. Out of these 10 men, how many do you think regularly attend therapy? Two. I'm just gonna say two. I feel like you possibly. I feel like I'm crazy. No, I'm just No, I'm not crazy. No, like, you know, like just trying to work on self. Like, honestly, I need to go to therapy to work on myself. No, you don't go to therapy. <laughs> I mean, no, 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 not saying that's a bad thing. I just feel like you got a lot of your day filled up with a lot of other stuff. <laughs> <laughs> you might have trauma because Asian household, but we don't, we don't go to therapy. We don't. I feel like you possibly go to therapy. You just see, I don't know, like the little angel. I don't know what it is. You just seem like you would go to therapy and like really like sit down and talk to a counselor and everything. Although you do look, you give off like a little boy vibe. You do look like a nice guy, like deep down. So I'm gonna say you are open to working on yourself. I think you use sex as therapy. <laughs> I, sleeping what? around. That's crazy. <laughs> I don't know. What? Maybe not you. I say no. Because he reminds me of my friend's boyfriend. Just because of how they grew up, they don't use their voice. There's more of their fist. Ooh. So just, but I feel like you're not a fighter though. I feel like you possibly go to therapy. 
Yeah. I don't know if you have trauma or not. We'll see. But you look like it. Oh. So Not like that, but like you look like someone I know. I'm going to say you because you're quiet and it just looks like you've seen shit. It just does, see? If you do attend therapy regularly, please step forward in three, two, one. Right. I'm a motherfucking what? Go. I'm really spot. I'm sorry. I'm really doing this shit. This is crazy. Oh, whoa. Oh, f okay. Just kidding. I attend therapy for like the past two years. Mm -hmm. I started after I realized after my breakup happened. I started going a lot more mm -hmm. uh, because of what I've been through. Because of my childhood trauma, I lost the twin brother. Um, sorry. I got cheated on. It was time for, you know, and it's frowned upon, but I really didn't care. You know, growing up when you do seek help, especially therapy, it, it just makes you look weak in the family. Mm -hmm. You get used to like bottling things up. They don't want to do that. Yeah, that that's like, what my dad told me before. Yeah, oh, it's weak, you can't cry. Mm -hmm. I'm like, dad, you're probably gonna speed the fuck off a bridge one day. If you don't talk about it, get it out. Exactly. Yeah, talk to us, that's over here. That's why you got your family too and everything, but it's yeah. always better to go seek a therapist. Um, I actually was in residential, so thank you for oh, the work yeah. you do. For sure. Um, uh, ever since I was 13, I went to therapy and I lived in a household where you had to be louder than everyone with your emotions. So especially like men and specifically straight men, I was sort of pushed away because I was more like confident talking about my emotions. Um, and it was very isolating and very For sad. Sure. But as I grew up, I found a group of people who were really sweet about it. And I think it's super important and like really, really vulnerable of you guys to just yeah. Well, you pretty much hit the nail on the head. I've seen some shit. So going to therapy comes from having been a cancer patient, current cancer survivor. Ooh. You know, just, oh, thank you. <laughs> so uh, going through like six months of chemotherapy, radiation, surgeries, brought on heavy depression as well as anxiety disorder. Um, I haven't gone just due to the fact that I think I'm a pretty strong, like mental person. I know how to cope pretty well. And that's why I haven't gone, but I haven't known the, like, I'm a psychology major, so I'm deeply in root with doing what you gotta do for yourself, uh, your mental, all that shit. So get your therapy, whether it be physical, mental, I don't care what it is, get yourself correct, you know? So you, so, you don't think you need it? I think whoever needs it, they need it. But me, me as a person, I'm pretty strong mentally. So I don't, I don't, I don't really need it. It's usually those people that need it. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's, no, he's not wrong, he's not wrong. So I see why he's saying that, but for sure, for sure. Yeah, I mean, obviously everyone could benefit from yeah, it. Yeah, most definitely, yeah. sure, most sure. definitely. <laughs> Straight men could literally be so weird. They'll have one feeling and be like, fellas, is it gay to have emotions? Do you know the rate of circumcision in the United States? I would say 80% is circumcised. 21%. I'm gonna play it safe and go low. I wanna say like 33. So in most European countries, the rate of male circumcision is around 20% or less. Damn, the United States. <laughs> Damn. Europe? In the United States, the rate is closer to 80%. Oh, shh. Mm. So right on the money. I know my dick. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. I don't. I don't know if you've ever watched this show called Naked Attraction. I was like, oh my God, no one's circumcised. It's because it's like in the UK. And I was like, wow, it's just in the US that we do that, that we strip ourselves of feeling. Because it feels better when you're uncircumcised, supposedly. Out of this group of men, how many do you think are not circumcised? Well, let's take a look. <laughs> Go ahead and drop your pants. No, I'm playing. I'm playing. Drop your pants, drop your pants, drop your pants, drop your pants. I don't think you are. It's not a bad thing. I just feel like your culture probably wouldn't What's strip culture? you of that. Right, culturally, like sometimes people that move to America raise their children and they're like, I'm not gonna do that to my child. They think it's like bad almost to circumcise their kid. I don't know, I just heard and I just know that it's like very common in the Hispanic Latin community to be uncircumcised. I feel like guys who are active are like circumcised. You said active? Yeah. Uh -huh. For my friends, they said that it's, it's more out there, you know what I mean? So I'm like, okay. <laughs> it's more out there? <laughs> yeah. You get heat in the moment a lot, is what I was told. It's hotter? No, like, can I, can I say horny on camera? Oh, okay, sorry. Oh, yeah, so yeah. Sorry. Okay, I'm so sorry. I didn't hotter? know if it was like... Oh, you meant like <laughs> active heat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Honestly, I'm not sure about Asian countries, so I'm gonna say you're not circumcised, and you're not... I think you were. You look like an all-American guy right now. Just the flannel, it's the flannel, it's the flannel. Okay, 
You also, with the varsity jacket, you're very like Americanized. That's what I'm getting. So like, I'm gonna say you are circumcised. Uncircumcised, uncircumcised, uncircumcised. These, these three here and then. If you are not circumcised, please step forward and share your story in three, two, one. Oh, sh oh, just kidding. Damn you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so not circumcised. It's like, that just means it is what it is, like, way how you're born, right? <laughs> <laughs> I'm making sure it's how you're born. As it comes. <laughs> it no, no modification. No. <laughs> Israel, can you talk a little bit about it? Uh, that's just how I was born, that's it. Yeah. And, uh, <laughs> I mean, nothing else was done. I just lived my life since the <laughs> I always thought it was like the other way around. I thought like we were all just like, you know, since birth like this. <laughs> I didn't know that was a common thing. I didn't know I was on the other end of this. I thought, <laughs> 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 I thought we'd always be all natural. <laughs> My family's from Mexico, and so in Mexico, it's the other way. The stat is that the majority of people are uncircumcised. Okay, so just good to know. family tradition, just, you know, don't do it. I know you're talking about cultures a little. I'm Jewish, and okay. it's a normal thing in uh, Judaism. It's called the bris. There's like a whole ceremony where your family gathers, which is interesting. Um, but I do sometimes think about, like, oh, I wonder, like, how it would feel if I was uncircumcised. Like, yeah. I just feel like it's dirtier if you're uncircumcised. For sure. I mean, it is. You gotta yeah. really clean it. Like, yeah. Yeah. That's that's my only thing. I wouldn't would never want to be uncircumcised. Can you add it after or no? You can't add like retouch oh. something oh. like a little. If you had to guess the percentage of men who reported having cheated. It's hard to say because most of the women I know has been cheated on. So I want to say like, I think 55% of men have cheated. Like a crazy number, but it's high, like 73%. That's high. That's high. That's high. That's high. I know, That's I know. High. I said, That's a scene. Y'all, okay, I said I don't want to, I could have said 90 some percent. I would say openly admit it, probably like 45%. I think the actual statistic is probably like 85 to 90%. According to a Kinsey Institute study, nearly 25% of men reported cheating during their current relationship. Oh, wow, okay. Women have their fair share as well, but yeah, straight men, when they're not happy, they tend to go seek uh, somewhere else. And I feel like, you know, why? You just tell me. I kind of think everybody cheats, to be honest, but I think gay men probably do cheat more than straight guys. Because I think women would keep their straight men on a tighter leash than a gay guy would keep on his <laughs> partner. Men, they're just like natural hunters. I don't know, they're just always on the prowl, looking for the next prey. Out of these 10 men, how many do you think have cheated on a partner? I think we have some nice guys here, but I think we have some just regular just guys. I'm gonna <laughs> <laughs> you, for sure. I'm sorry. <laughs> you do. Yeah, he's bad with eye contact. He doesn't want to look me in the eyes. <laughs> Cheater. Definitely you. Why am I not? <laughs> Definitely you. I didn't even look at you. Maybe that's why. Guilty, I swear. I mean, it's like the day in my life, so I feel like getting called on over and over, which is like, it's already regular. So I was like, I expected it coming in here. I was like, they're gonna call me for every, every answer that's like related to like, oh, he's handsome, so he has to do that. Or any negative thing was like, oh, it's probably him. I actually don't think you have. You like look kind of like tough, but you're, I feel like you're very faithful. I just get that vibe based on your eye contact. No, no, just cause you're a nice guy. We've already gone over this. Just marks like explanations and everything. Oh, he's just like an angel to me. Can I just say that? Have you cheated? Have you ever thought about cheating? You can't ask that question. <laughs> you, yeah, you're gonna have to follow really that. I want, I want to think you're such a nice guy, but for sure you cheated. <laughs> so I feel like you're quiet. Quiet guys tend to experience new things or want to like try to be like dip their toes out and try to be like, you know, I kind of be a fuck boy a little bit, but I don't. Model industry, I don't know. Got the little chisel face and everything. I don't know. No, you haven't. You're too nice. No, I don't think you guys did either. I just get nice. Good guy energy, like family men. <laughs> you definitely have. You thought about it, but you're like, oh fuck, it's not a good idea. You definitely fucking cheat on someone, <laughs> I swear. You think you haven't, and you have. If you have cheated on a partner, please step forward in three, two, one. <gasps> oh. oh, okay, it was less than I thought. Oh. I know, you're disappointed in Don't me. Don't look at me. <laughs> <laughs> So mine was a, a four-year relationship. Um, be honest, I was down in some debt. As a man, your pride is like, nah, you know, I want to pay for shit. Like, come on now. Like, I got um, an email offering me to do something, and it was for some money. 
I was gonna pay off the rest of my debt with that money, take my girl on a trip. You know, my intentions was good, but I shouldn't have did what I did. It was on camera, on video, and that's where they got me. One day, she sent me a screenshot like, is this you? And I'm sitting here like, gang, that's me, but this is the real, this is the reason why I did it. Try to pour out my heart, you know, explain, feel me? Like it was, the principle behind it, I swear to God, was be good, you feel me, do good, but it was just like, I was young, dumb. You're forgiven. And free. Fast money, just yeah. wasn't worth it. All right. All right, so I'm 24, so I can say from 20 to 24, mm -hmm. in my 20s, nah, I haven't cheated, I've been a one girl, but high school, Damn. <laughs> damn. And there was this fair at this other school. And there was this one girl who pulled up. And I was like, damn, you looking real good. But that's the thing. I didn't, I didn't come to her. She came to me talking about, hey, what's up? I didn't even think about it, have it on my mind. She gonna get, get my chin. Just like that. It's, it's literally been the girl's fault. Because the second time, the girl kissed me too. I kept it going. I guess I escalated no, it. No, there's a blame on you. I escalated it. Y'all shared it. I escalated it. But okay, yeah, okay. that's the story right there. So she started it. Mm -hmm. Got it. We're gonna have you close your eyes and face down. Okay. <laughs> so guys, we're gonna grade her on how well we think she did. If you think Tay knows straight men, take a step forward in three, two, one. Hey, hey. Hello. Back, welcome Hello. back. Howdy, howdy. <laughs> we had everyone grade you guys and tally up everyone's scores. So I'm gonna tell you guys who knows straight men the best. So Tay, the men graded you and gave you a score of... Nine out of 10. <laughs> Lily. I already know. Lily, the men graded you and you got a score of... One out of ten. And Michael, the man graded you, and you got a score of ten out of ten. <gasps> I think both the girls were like, oh, based on previous experiences. Yeah, have a So they just judged us based on some guys that did them wrong. Stereotypes too. Uh, yeah, a lot stereotypes. of stereotypes going on uh, with race and things. <laughs> yeah. Hey, yeah. Okay. Hey, I think the ladies were going more off of looks and he was going more off like knowledge, you know? Yeah. He knows his stuff. Yeah. 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 Okay, Thank well, you. I was still right going based off the looks. So that's yeah. that. that a 9 out of 10, so. Yeah. Woo! Yeah. Yeah, we all got each other's Instagram. Thank you very much. I told you. That was, that was just fuck boys and sweating. <laughs>